addicted to the internet? What would I know about that? I feel very personally attacked right now. I'm Daniel Howell and welcome to Forever Scrolling, an attitude series about mental health, social media and getting through the night, where every week you will hear stories from me and other LGBTQ creators. This week we are talking about social media addictions. Social media can often feel very overwhelming and it's very possible to develop a problematic relationship with it, which is why it is important to find balance. If you're checking your notifications whilst in the shower, time to step back a bit. Your phone is always dead, girl. Like feeling panicky without my phone. A clear sign that you've spent too much time on the internet is when the voices in your head, like, of the social media conversation is louder than what's going on in the real world. I've had times where I put my phone down after looking at an argument on Twitter and I'm just like, wow, okay, for a whole chunk of time there, I was more sucked into the reality happening on my phone than the real world around me. I started to feel physically, you know, my emotions sort of changed by what I was reading on the internet. You know what you do then? You put your phone down. You look at a leaf for a minute. You do one deep breath. Ah, the real world. I knew I was getting to that addicted state because I had moments of anxiety when I didn't see a post doing well, or I needed to look at my phone to check on that post constantly, or again, my, my phone told me literally that I was just spending more and more time every week, and I, I, I had to stop that. <laughs> If you are addicted to social media, there's things you can do. You can set limits on the time on your phone that you can use certain apps for. You can just tell yourself, I'm going to curate my experience and make it so that certain things don't stress me out. Just take time in your day to do things off the internet that make you feel better. It doesn't have to be something as big as a religion or meditation. Just buy a potted plant. Just tend to a cactus and it can ground you to reality. If you're feeling addicted to social media, something that's been really helpful for me is setting concrete, specific times as goals for being away from your phone. So for me, I've really enjoyed going for a daily walk at 7 p.m. when it's cooled down a little outside. I've also been really enjoying um, reading because I have some classes coming up and I have to read a book for those classes. I've also been enjoying painting. Um, I've been painting some gifts for friends for their birthdays or other holidays. So I think having that specific goal and that like time restriction has really helped me take it seriously to put down my phone, put away my devices and actually go and do other things away from a screen. When I look back, I was definitely addicted to social media when I was younger. That was just the place where all of my friends were. I didn't really have friends anywhere else. It was just Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and like that was it. It was just internet friends and I just used to tweet hundreds of times a day and just use Twitter as this like open diary which was not very healthy for me to do and I don't really do that so much anymore. Um, it was an unhealthy coping mechanism that I had but one of the biggest things that has stopped me using social media in such an unhealthy way was turning off push notifications for everything except direct messages on like WhatsApp and Messenger. I don't get any push notifications on any social media except from like texts. I still regularly check my social media so I don't really miss notifications much but like I don't have them in my face all the time and it's just so <sighs> so much more calm. Breaking those behavioral patterns and recognizing when something becomes unhealthy. So like even just like sleeping next to your phone, you can try like putting it in another room when you go to bed. That's a good one. That way you won't wake up and be like, oh, my phone, which I do a lot. So I should probably start doing that. I think there were definitely days, uh, more so a few years ago, because now I'm just like, I'm so bored, uh, where I would just sit looking at things for hours. I just could not be part of the conversation if people were talking about something that was happening, if people were arguing about something. I had to read every single comment. I had to keep going to the end. And eventually I just got exhausted, even just from silently reading things that were happening on my laptop. And I just had to start telling myself, I don't have to see everything. It's the fear of missing out of these virtual conversations. And one day I was like, I need some damn respect for myself. I don't need to be involved in this. And I just went, hey, close the lid. Sometimes I feel like I'm missing something. Like, did I miss like, girl, who's, who, who is getting dragged right now? Like who said this and what? What Drea do this week? Like, I need to know those things. And I feel like sometimes when I see the article, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was off Twitter when that happened. I think that 
it's always going to be something happening 24 7 like people all of us are living the same 24 7 like the 24 hours in the day but you might be on twitter from 6 to 8 a.m and i might be in the bed asleep or i might be eating my cheerios because it's eight o'clock in the morning i need that fiber i would say i've never been addicted to social media but i've definitely been dependent recognizing why you're spending so much time on your phone is key to understanding how to break the cycle are you chatting to your friends because you're feeling lonely? In which case, please continue. I feel like a lot of people feel obligated to follow 20 newspapers and a bunch of celebrities that they might not care about. And even some people in their life that they might not want to see what they're posting, but they feel like they have to. Don't do that, please. Your social media, the time that you spend on it, radical idea, make it stuff that makes you feel good. If you see something and it doesn't spark joy, unfollow. Hey, and if it's your mum and you know she added you on Facebook, just you know mute the notification. She'll never know about it. Just say you're busy. She'll never know. Sorry, mum. Thanks for watching this attitude video with me, Daniel Howell. And remember, you will get through this night. You are going to be okay. Leave a comment down below sharing your stories if you're happy to do so, and give this a like if you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in laughing at my pain and me going a bit too deep into the dark hole of my own sorry state and learning some stuff about mental health, you can pre-order my book. You will get through this night. So thank you very much to Attitude and thank you for watching. Bye.